Alright, um, we're back again. I have managed to get myself a small sum of money. Um, I'm also lacking some health, but we're gonna go on with J10's game for now, just so I can get something done tonight. Um, Green Raven has gone very far in this game since the last time I recorded this, and he has told me that apparently, um, further down the road it gets very, very, very sadistic. So I will try to get as far in this game as I can, but um, we shall see. I believe that last time we were trying to get a hero's pass so we could get into the library. Yeah, here we go. School pass. We have the insurance fee. Good, how's things with you? Alright, allows you to use the adventure school forever. Let's head there and do a lot of reading then. I'm sure this will be absolutely riveting to watch, but um... I would like to record it just so you have this wonderful experience lodged away in your memory for the rest of your life. Okay, Flora 1 is study and staff, Flora 2 is theory and home of the knowledge gate, and Flora 3 is demonstration chamber chambers. I can't go in there, apparently. I don't know why there's a tank sitting at a table. That's kind of weird. I want to go to that class over there. That sounds seems like it would be more fun than reading a whole bunch of stuff. You're arrested for the act of committing the the act of witchcraft. Fa ha ha. I just can't help it. Anyway, welcome to the adventure school. If you want to go to any floor, let me know. Alright, so I guess we're not doing anything on the first floor then, so we'll go to the library on the second floor. I have something important to say. Don't run in the hallways! I can't run in this game at all, so it doesn't matter. My bros at the guild, but I was certain. Okay. Um, I think I'll go ahead and use that because um, fighting elves in the forest has proven that I need to be able to kill things as quickly as possible in this game. The void hop teleportation is pretty cool, isn't it? I saw something even cooler in the airship right guild. All right, so level 15 for the challenge hall. <laughs> I'm just a prop, but thanks for talking to me. To view the hero number, look at the hero tab in the database. I guess it's talking about in actually an in RPG maker. Let's read them in order. starting here. Don't type your hero's names in the message boxes. Replace their names with to quickly reference their name. Alright, this is all about RPG Maker. Plan your game maps and plots before you rush on and make them. It makes the game better if you have a draft or neat copy of what you want to do. I wish I had done that with my game. <laughs> I just kind of improvised the whole thing. Making RPG games is a lot more fun with friends, so you can get a friend to help. I don't have any friends that are that cool. Real life friends, at least. Maybe online friends. Alright, this is really all just RPG Maker stuff, so I'm just gonna glimpse over it. Yeah, this is... riveting. But for the sake of completion, I'll go ahead and just breeze through this. If you want to learn a little bit about RPG Maker, go ahead and read this or download J10's game from the site and read this stuff. I am uh, an RPG Maker ace at this point, so I don't really need to read all this.
I just don't know how to make combat algorithms, sadly. A good Aesop. The moral of the story, Galeon rule. Oh, Galeon, uh, from Lunar Silver Star Story. He's the bad guy. Every problem in the universe can be solved by finding the right long-haired pretty boy and then beating the crap out of him. Exactly. <laughs> That's pretty much who Galeon is. He's like this white-haired elf who tries so hard at first to look like a good guy, but you just know he's evil immediately. And it's pretty much confirmed like five minutes later in the story. Alright. The quality of goods in the world are dependent upon the shop's distance from the final dungeon. Very true. <laughs> It doesn't matter if the town you start in has a huge thriving economy and is the center of world trade, it will always have the game's worst gear. Yet even if the village near the end is isolated and has only three people in it, it will have the game's best equipment. Very true. I seem to remember that Golden Sun did something- No, no, Prox was the last. Um, what game was it that did that? Uh, I can't remember. I was thinking of some RPG where, like, literally the last dungeon had, like, a few people in the town and, like, really good equipment in the shop. Can't think of it. As you get to the final confrontation with the villain, events will become increasingly awkward, contrived, and disconnected from one another, almost as if some cosmic author was running up against a deadline. <laughs> Adam Smith's Revenge. By the end of the game, you are renowned everywhere as the legendary heroes. I like this library. This is actually kind of interesting uh, from a writer or game designer's perspective. <laughs> Shopkeepers won't even give you a discount, much less free supplies. No matter how thoroughly devastated the continent planet universe is, there's always some shopkeeper who survived the end of the world and sits outside inside the gates of the villain's castle, selling the most powerful weapons and items in the game. Okay, I'm learning how to run an inn. Turns out it's pretty easy. Yeah. Okay. Vintage JD. Not bad. No one ever accuses the sole item shopper in of having a monopoly. <laughs> it's very true in this game where wheat sells for like a thousand gold. Scooby's axiom? Any problem in the known world from missing apple to quarreling lovers is to the impending apocalypse can and most likely will be solved by a bunch of meddling kids. Seriously. <laughs> Nothing is ever impossible if it's rule of cool. The less the main character talks, the more words are put into his mouth, and therefore the more trouble he gets into. Although the bad guy monster tearing <laughs> That's very true, too. I was actually- I posted a th uh, in the you know you play too many video games when post on uh, Angel Spire and uh, mentioned how, like, I sometimes think when I go to bed about how I'm, like, replenishing my HP. <laughs> it's pretty sad. <laughs> J10. Short attention span law. Nictaco has the world's shortest attention span. <laughs> Ah, oh, there's so many books to read. Okay, law laws of allies. Your group is the only bunch of people trying to save the world. All the other would-be heroes will either join your party or else turn out to be cowards and or con men. But they don't take us express. Every merchant in the world, even those living in far off villages or hidden floating cities cut off from outside the world for centuries, and are of an entirely different species and accept the same currency. Yes. Uh, Chrono Trigger actually circumvented that with the, uh, uh, Ayla's civilization. Um, they accepted, I think, red feathers or something. <laughs> Final Fantasy VI. Anything is capable of flight if it would be cool. Aerodynam aeronautics or even basic physics be damned. There will be only one of any non trivial type of vehicle. There's only one ocean. <laughs> Thank you. 
There are no shortcuts ever unless you're forced to take them. Yes. Okay. Well, that's enough skimming for one day. I'm gonna save because I seem to remember that the final floor was uh, the, the difficult challenge floor. There are rocks everywhere. Hello, and welcome to the switch room. Here you can learn about switches. <laughs> Day 10, I know about RPG Maker. <laughs> to find the switch operations, blah blah blah, yep. This is all how to use RPG Maker. Ooh, ghosty. Boogie woogie woogie. They're cool dudes. Yeah. <sighs> I wish I wasn't a completionist. <laughs> As such, I'm driven to read all these. Here, let's enter uh, an arbitrary number. Special milk. Isn't that what the vintage JD did? Yep. Oh, Jack Daniels, probably. I just realized that now. <laughs> Not all item containers have to be chests or stuff like that. Okay. Aww. Oh, keep me kid. <laughs> Boo. boo. <laughs> um. Oh, does this let me change my name? Well, I'll change it to... Um... Oh, I didn't think this out ahead of time. Um... Nur... T... Turco... Nur Turco. <laughs> Let's see if I can enter that now. Nerturgo? I had to make it long, didn't I? Oh shit. I hate this entry system. It does like two characters every time you delete. Okay, I guess I'm Nerturgo now. healing spell. I'm very glad I did that. That is going to make things so much easier. It's kind of... It's really shitty, though. Now that I look at it. Because I already have, like, 586 HP. That does absolutely nothing for me. That was a waste of money. <laughs> I love how I went from saying, uh, that's, that's cool, to it's a waste of money. What? Why? <laughs> Why is my face a man? <laughs> No! <laughs> yes, that's a basic loop. Alright. Well, that was fun. I'm gonna put a boulder in the teleportation circle over here and see what happens. Probably nothing. 
Aw. Gotta be some point to these boulders, right? But knowing J10, he probably just stuck them in to be J10. No! <laughs> yeah, you got me. I think I'm gonna save my game now, though, because I'm a little nervous after that. But you can't put your mind to it because you're a dumb NPC. Um, I don't think I have that much money. No, I don't. Wait, did he say 4,000 or did he say... Okay, 3,000. I thought he said 400 for a second. I'll do that in a minute. I don't think that's what um, J10 said you had to be level 15 for, but I'm not sure. I'm also gonna look with the lights off, because I have a feeling there are gonna be other ghosts in here. Do not see any, but... Yep, there we go. Where the plot goes, come talk to us if you want to learn about writing a good-ass story. I know how to write a good-ass story. I am Nataco, the master of storytelling. <laughs> Alright, to make a truly member of me, but uh... Yeah, but we live in such an age now that it's hard to create a game without using any cliches, because anti-cliches have become cliches in and of themselves. I don't know. Okay. Fortunately, I think we're just about done with this little escapade. So I'm gonna try to enter this dojo here and I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked. But I shall try to, try to enter nonetheless. Oh. Easy level. Of course I don't have any HP right now. Should probably use that spell I just got. See, it was useful. Oh, I'm probably gonna get my ass handed to me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just- my hits aren't even connecting. <laughs> well, that's lovely. Uh, now I have to find a way to heal myself. Alright, back down we go. Hello. And I take it the inn still won't let me sleep there. Although, was this also an inn down here? Or was this just a pub? Is this a casino? This place is too big. Oh, there we go, there's an end. Did I even find this place last time? 
<laughs> Can I try to read them? I'm a master of late speak. I played World of Warcraft for like years. Um, back in the day when uh, you used to be able to get a around the whole language barrier between Horde and Alliance by using Leet Speak. So I used to do plenty of that back in my day. Okay. Ugh. Sitting around for too long. And I just minimized the window by accident. There we go. I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Um, I think I'm going to go to the Adventurer's Guild and see if anyone there has something for me. Emma, please don't puke in my room. That's my dog. <laughs> okay, let's see... No. See if anything has any anyone has anything for me. I already told him, so... I guess he got lost. Heading from one building to the next. Challenge Island is tough. I think it's better if rookies train in the Adventure School Dojo first. Ugh. Are you here to register for the guild exam? No. <laughs> that is absolute truth. I'm getting paid for this? <laughs> I need some money, let me in that line. Come on. Alright, well I guess I'm gonna register for this thing. Let's see what happens. It's Nurturko! As long as there are no elves, I think we'll be okay. Can I go out? No. I don't like the look of this. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm gonna try to at least complete this dungeon, or see if I can complete this dungeon, and then um, call that it for right now. Challenge Hall B2, puzzles. Give me just a moment, my dog is huffing and puffing, and I need to let her out of my room. Alright. I would be surprised if, uh... I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'm just taking a look around first before I, uh push any boulders and mess myself up. And this is great because I don't have any uh, items to combat confusion, so hopefully they both just run away. Oh no. Seriously? Oh. Okay, so I forgot to mention this, but when I did my grinding in the- oh, ah! No! Okay, we'll be back. Alright, so we're gonna try this thing again, and hopefully not die this time. But it's come to my realization that I probably should have stocked up on more supplies before I came here, so... I may wind up cutting this part out if I don't succeed.
Uh, J10 actually was kind enough. Oh, come on! I literally took one step! Oh my god. Oh yeah, and these elves, um, I think I had started to say this, but I was interrupted. Um, I was grinding a little bit in the forest, only up to level 3 though, um, when I was trying to get some more money. And they have a paralyze ability, like the one that just killed me. Um, and obviously in this game, if you get paralyzed, you're just dead. Um, I think it's something along the lines of like petrification from Final Fantasy, where if you're the only party member and you get paralyzed or petrified, you're, you're just done. I guess the implication is that neither you or your party members can act. Well, we're already doing great. Fucking... J10 is a sinister bastard. Oh my god. Can I please have party members to make this a little better? I think if I fail this time, I'm gonna have to go back and just train. Train and train and train until I am powerful enough to kill everything in here in like one hit. This is definitely like a Korean style- oh, did I just fuck myself over? Well, we're gonna find out. Oh, uh, <laughs> please no. Oh, come on! Oh my god, J10, I just like, I just don't even know what to say right now. I am just, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I will try to go and grind some more levels off camera, but <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like, just, there, I have no way of protecting myself against these status effects. I, there's, there's nothing I can do right now except grind. So I will get back to this game soon. I hope that I'll be able to play a decent amount of it before uh, the contest voting starts, but I'll see what I can do.